Let's speak now to Michael Buchmeier, a professor of molecular biology and biochemistry at the University of California. He joins us from Irvine. Thanks so much uh, for joining us. I mean, I hope you did just hear uh, that report because it leads to the question, I mean, is the country's considerable homeless population a dangerously underestimated risk for the entire country? Yes, it is. Uh, we have already seen epidemic disease uh, focused on the homeless uh, population uh, with hepatitis A a year or two ago here in Orange County and San Diego County. So it's it's uh, it's not a distant memory at all. Uh, the problem here is that people are not being tested, uh, regardless of what uh, the president says about uh, the number of tests available and how how we're doing perfect testing. People are not being tested. And uh, if, until we test, we have no idea what the, the magnitude of this epidemic is. Right. Uh, it's very simple. Yeah, I mean, uh, on that, uh, people not being tested, I've heard some just really remarkable uh, reports from the United States that people who've actually made the attempt to get tested, some of them who found places that carry the correct equipment to do the testing, want upwards of $1,000 uh, out of pocket because insurance hasn't sorted out uh, the refunds yet or the payments directly. So people who actually can get tested aren't because it's cost prohibitive. This is, this is a problem I've, I've heard as well. I haven't experienced that because I'm on the faculty at the university and our medical center covers this, but uh, it, is a, it is a tragic problem. Uh, I would also look at the considerable military population that we have both here and, uh, and in Asia, in, in Korea, for example, and Japan, and ask whether or not those people are being uh, taken care of properly. Uh, you know, if someone uh, reports back from duty in Korea, for example, how are they handled if they turn out positive? Or, or are they even being tested? And uh, that's, that's an area that I have not seen in the news here. Uh, but I think it needs to be uh, needs to be looked at very carefully. Right, uh, not testing could cause I mean huge problems down the line in trying to fight this pandemic. And I want to look again quickly with you at the the issue of the homeless population in the United States. I don't have the specific numbers right now, but the United States does have a remarkably large homeless population, especially in states like California. As our reporter was saying, there uh, these people don't even have fixed addresses. So not only can they not receive help if they want it, I mean, they, they can hardly be found if they need to be tracked because they might be contagious. Tell us if any steps are being taken uh, to try and find the people that might be most vulnerable and help them. I think locally you'll find that there are people in specific jurisdictions that do try to track the homeless population, but the homeless, popu homeless population is very mobile. Uh, and so they may be in Los Angeles today and Orange County tomorrow, and, and they're not being tracked in a, on a large scale, uh, certainly. Uh, there are a number of, of charities, like the one that was just featured, that, again, are trying to keep up with it. Uh, but the resources there are strictly voluntary resources uh, and do donations from charity. Uh, so we don't have the kind of system uh, that we need to really provide for these, these people. And that's, that's really unfortunate with a wealthy country like this. It's unfortunate and it is frightening at this point. Okay, Michael Buchmeier, thanks. we're gonna have to leave it there. Yeah, uh, thanks so much uh, for joining us there from, from Irvine, California.